Welcome back to my channel, Travel with Sid Plotist. Today's adventure takes us to the enchanting city of Jagannath Puri, a place steeped in history, spirituality, and of course, beautiful beaches. Join me as we explore the vibrant streets, visit the famous Jagannath Temple, and indulge in some mouth-watering treats at the beachside stalls. Let's dive in. that breathes culture and spirituality. My first stop is the renowned Jagannath Temple, a sacred place that draws millions of devotees each year. Let's take a moment to soak in the atmosphere. Good morning from Puri. This is 6.45 a.m. and I'm on the beach to see the sun rise. But this time I see sun has already risen. the beach so on this beach I can see lots of camel rides horse rides and I'm looking for tea and it's cold here it's almost like 14 15 degrees of the temple have intrigued historians and philosophers because hidden within the stories are the tribal origins of the cult of Jagannath. It is said that a long ago, King Indra Dyumna ruled at Puri and Vishnu came in his dreams and asked him to build a temple for him. Indra Dyumna then began to search for the finest image of the god and heard of an image called Neel Madhav or the Blue Krishna. Neel Madhav was the deity of the Shabar tribals who lived deep in the forests. The problem was that the image was hidden in a cave in the Nilachal hills and only one man knew its location, a tribal chief named Vishwavasu. King Indra Dhumna sent a Brahmin youth named Vidyapati to find the idol. The clever youth married Vishwavasu's daughter and then persuaded the chief to show him the idol. Then he took the image of Neel Madhav and brought it to Indra Dhumna. Discovering the loss of the image poor Vishwavasu was prostrate and with grief and seeing his distress, Lord Neel Madhav chose to return to his cave. However, before returning, the god told the king to build the temple and then pick up a log of wood that would come floating from the sea. This log had to be used to carve the image of the deity. The log was found in the sea. It had floated all the way from Krishna's capital city of Dwarka. However, the log was so heavy that no one could pick it up. And again, the tribal chief Vishwavasu had to be summoned and he carried the log to the temple. Now, this sacred log called Brahmudru had to be carved and no sculpture could even make the mark on it. Then Vishwakarma, the architect of the gods, answered the prayers of Indra Dumna and appeared before the king in the guise of an old man. He said that he would do the job in one condition. He was going to take 21 days to carve the image and no one was to disturb him. The old man then locked himself into a room and people could hear the sound of hammering and chiseling. The 21 days were still not over when one morning Indra Dhyumna's queen Gundicha realized that there was silence inside the room and she feared that the old man had died. In their anxiety, Indra Dhyumna 
and Gondicha opened the door and discovered an empty room and three half completed images. This is the legendary explanation of the unusual icons that we see in the Garbhagriha of the temple, welcoming devotees with their kind and compassionate smiles. Did you know that the idols of Lord Jagannath, Balabhadra and Subhadra are replaced with new ones every 19 years? The tranquility within these walls is truly mesmerizing. The Jagannath temple is not just a religious site. It's a symbol of history and devotion. Hi everyone. I have just completed the darshan in Puri Jagannath. Had bhog prasad and this is prasad I'm taking home. To experience the more relaxed side of Jagannath Puri. One of the best parts about visiting a coastal town is the incredible food you can find. Join me as we explore these charming stalls and see what delights they have to offer. Thank you for joining me in this incredible journey through Jagannath Puri. If you have enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more travel adventures. Until next time, 
keep exploring and embrace the beauty of the world.